And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I know the flyer says 7 p.m. Unfortunately, I have a last minute meeting that I must attend at 7 p.m. And I want to thank Lady K for coming on in so she could get this word out because nothing was going to stop us from getting this word out. Amen. Amen. So listen, y'all, we're not going to be before y'all long. I know that it's storming and I know it's raining. And listen, to me, it matches up with this woman of God right here. I met her personally last year. And ever since I met her, y'all, I have been in love with her. Not on no funny stuff, but she's an awesome woman. One thing I like about her, she's she's very observant. She don't like the spotlight. She going to sit back. But baby, when God release her and when she cut loose, it is over. She's like what I consider a sniper. I know her to be a phenomenal woman of God. I know for her to walk in um, wisdom. I know for her to walk in humility. And I don't talk to her every day, y'all. But just to let y'all know, she's going to kick off Release to Restore for the month of July. God gave this to me, and he gave it to me, and he gave it to me. And I was like, okay, I got to share what God is telling me. Y'all know the word be fuzz first. So God was telling me I need to release to restore. So I wanted to come and help some of you ladies and some of you men, um, hopefully some children, everybody. This is part of evangelizing. And without further ado, listen, y'all, she don't go by titles. I called her something else. I know what I see in the spirit. But her husband, the chief apostle Owens, he be messing with me. So I'm going to miss with his wife and shout out to him. I thank God for her covering. He's an awesome brother in the ministry. Listen, he was the first one to tell me that, listen, when I go forth, that I was going to be by myself. He was the first one to tell me, don't turn down no assignments. And I'm glad that he was obedient to the word. And we talking about way in 2013. But she just want to be known as Lady K. And she's with Whole Truth. Kojic and Kingdom Domain Oasis Ministries Incorporated. And I'm going to let her have the floor. Amen, woman of God is on you. Amen, amen. I just thank God for this opportunity to just be the voice with a message. Um, everybody knows that's that's my logo. That's my, my thing. I want to just be the voice. I don't want a title. I don't want anything. I just want to be that vessel that God has, is using on, this, on tonight and going forward. And I thank God for using you um, woman of God, <laughs> oh, <no, why laughs> this opportunity to oh. just let God use me tonight, and I'm not going to waste any oh, time, I'm going to go right into the word of God, um, God just wanted to prayer first, Father God, we thank you on tonight, God, we praise you, and we give you glory for what you're about to do, Father God, we just want to lift you up on tonight, God, we want to get understanding the wisdom of your word, God, Lord, let your Shekinah glory fall. I got line, God. Let it Thank fall you, into the living room, God, where people are sitting, God, the dining room where they're feasting, God, the bedroom where they're laying down watching this live, God. Let them receive what you have for them to receive on tonight, God. And we're going to give you glory, God. And Lord, we denounce and uh, come against any type of distraction, any type of technology problem that may occur. God, we come against it now and we decree and declare that your word will go forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we give you glory on tonight, God. We give you praise on tonight, God. We edify you on tonight, God. We lift you up on tonight, God. Now, God, as I stand before your people, God, let this vessel be what you will have it to be, God. Let it speak what you want it to speak, God. Let it do what you will have it to do, God. Let you get all the glory, God. Not of me, God, but all of you, God. Not of mine, but all of thine. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. We, y'all... I got this topic, and if y'all don't mind me being my Louisiana country little girl, I'm going to be just that. Y'all know me. Y'all watch me on live, so you know how I do it. Here we go. Um, I, I was given the topic, release to restore, and I was studying the word, and you know, we we look at release as being, being let go of something and being restored by replenishing us with what we need. And, and when I was, I was sitting at the table, as I was sitting at Jesus' feet and just letting him import in me, God began to deal with me on a different level. And it like took me like out of, out of this realm and to, a, to another high dimensional realm on how to really look at being released to restore. Amen. He took me to 1 Peter 
the fifth chapter and the 10th verse. In the King James Version, it reads, but the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, strengthened, settled you. Now, when we look at that, you know, I kind of like, okay, God, what are you really, what are you really saying? He took me over to the easy to read version. Easy to read verse. It says, after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Hmm. If y'all don't mind, I just want y'all to sit with me as I go through the little notes that I took as God was pouring into me. Amen. Looking at release to restore. Subtopic. I'm coming to get what's mine. Amen. I'm coming to get what's mine. When I began to study this topic, God took me down memory lane. If you don't mind, grab your chair, grab your word, and let's begin. We identify the root word of this topic, lease mm. and store. Mm. I thought I was going to talk about letting go of some things, release, to get something in return. But God said, well, first, let's point out the foundation of being leased to be stored. So what breached your contract and took your stuff? What evicted you and stole your life possessions? Mm. Let's grab the understanding of our lease to store. Mm. Now, 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 this reminds me of u-haul business the u-haul you business you know when you go and, and, and rent a u-haul storage you have to sign a lease mm -hmm. to store yourself come on you have to sign a lease a contract mm -hmm. to store your items possessions mm -hmm. lease is a contract by which conveys service for a period of time now our life is a dash that's a period of time when we were born there was a signature called blood and water that we had to pass through before we were born. So this contract is then broken mm. once we enter the sinful nature of man. Yes, our lease was broken before we first glanced at the first light when we open our eyes at birth. Come on. Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm. Thank you, <laughs> Eve, for Genesis 3 and 23 tells us, therefore the Lord God sent him Forth from the Garden of Eden. This was we. This was the contract that we had back in with Adam and Eve was just made. They were put in an area. They were, had a contract where they could have whatever they want. They can everything belonged to them, but they broke the lease. So thank you, Adam. Thank you, Eve. Because now you've been set forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which. He was taken. Mm. Then we look at restore. The root word store is a place where things were, are kept for future usage. As we journey in life, we develop a storage space. Mm -hmm. The things we encounter, some of its residue is stored in that stored place. Come some on. of us call it a house. Some of us call it a temple. Some of us call it our heart. Mm. Now, in this storage place, as we grow up, as we develop in our life's journey, you, you, you come in contact with malice. Mm -hmm. You come in contact with hurt. Mm. You come in contact with peace, joy, molestation, domestic, verbal, violence. You know, you get the picture. Mm -hmm. So you, these things are housed in this temple, what we call our house. 
Come I'm on. reminded of what, when the Old Testament says, that's me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. But in this particular moment, what do you house in your house? Come on. Now, 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 now some things, now, if you're not careful, some of these things can, can, can show its ugly head mm. if you're not careful. Because these are some things that you experience in life. I know we got some, some people on here that haven't experienced none of this bad stuff, but I'm talking to the people who have. Come Those on. Who went through something. Those who are, are still going through something. And if you had went through nothing, and if you're if you're not in something right now, keep waking up and laying down. Ooh. You're gonna eventually go through something. These, these experiences, y'all, these are things that happen in our life journey. And most times, these things, like I said, eventually will speak up if not careful. You don't believe me? Go to Matthew 12 and 34, where it says, Oh, generation of vipers, how can ye? being evil, speak good things. For mm. out of the abundance of the heart, that's your heart. The abundance of the house, yeah, the temple that you live in. Yeah, out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaking. So whatever's in that heart, it's the mouth. You carrying mm. that malice? Let somebody mess you up. Let somebody make you mad. It's going to come out because it's in the heart. Mm. Yeah, some of us sit around, we say, oh, we don't cuss no more. Oh, yeah, we don't we don't say those type of words. Let somebody cut you off. Mm. Let somebody step on your brand new red bottom shoes. Let somebody step on your Stacey Adams. Let somebody pour, mess around and pour wine or, or, or some red drink on your good suit. Come on. That blood that we, that, that, that wine juice we drink every Sunday, you got on your pretty white and let somebody bump your arm and then that stuff go on your white dress. Oh, you mm -hmm. ready to cut the food. That's in your heart. Mm -hmm. But if you got the joy and peace and happiness for those who don't go down that road, that will come out of your heart too as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I'm getting there. Keep on praying for me. I'm getting there. <laughs> now, after breaking down the information, I was sent into another realm to assess other barriers that cause a denied of your release or your lease, I should say, and your store. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked you a question earlier. What caused your 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 lease to be broken Come what on. breached your lease who stole out of your storage space what mm. caused you not to renew your contract come on uh-huh with god and what robbed you of your inheritance let me let me give you a, some a couple things that that may cause you to not be renewed you know or, or, or have you to be robbed of your inheritance let's everybody say tongue oh tongue. i heard it tongues. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. This weapon can cause more death than the atomic bomb. Mm. Uh-huh. This tongue can rob you and yourself of your, your self-esteem, your spiritual growth, and your overall health. I work in the medical field. And I've seen so many people with the, that depression and anxiety and, and they're suicidal. Why? Because someone has told them they're, they're no good. Someone has told them they, they ain't worth nothing. They're just like their dad. They're just like their mama. You're just like your uncle. You're just like your, your drug ain't it. That tongue will kill a multitude of people. You, I'm guaranteed if we can put the tongue out on a battlefield and just let it just go rampant, we wouldn't have to walk. We wouldn't even have to fight a battle, a war. Because it will kill everybody in society. That tongue is a powerful thing. It's the strongest strongest thing of the body even though it's this little, little thing that we have connected to this body amen now 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 pride is another thing pride and money kind of go hand in hand like your left hand and right hand but they both do the same thing mm -hmm. they work together proverbs 16 18 says states pride goes before destruction now you all uh, uh, uh can allow your egos to take you away faster uh-huh. Then them glue that you put on your hair, you know how to eat your edges away. Uh-huh. Pride, pride and, and money can 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 make it go just as fast as that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> pride is driven by some with no self-worth. Uh-huh. People who have pride have 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 a low self-esteem and they're shamed. So what they do, they cause other people to feel worse than them. It's almost like um. The, the people who, who want to take the crowd with them, mm -hmm. you know, people who feel bad, want other people to feel bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of facing the truth, they compensate 
and they try to make others lower than themselves. Somebody say, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. The last thing I want to bring to y'all, let's hold you long, it is denial and a liar. Avoiding the fact or being dishonest is failure to oneself and others. A liar won't tarry in the Lord's sight. That's Psalms 107, 7 and 8. What profits a man to gain this fame of this world, this earthly world, this earthly glory, and lose the eternal life? Yeah, I, I'd rather lose this, this physical life and gain the eternal life so I can be with the Father. And, and, and this, because all of this is going to perish, all of this is going to fade away. But somebody say, I'll take the L. Yeah, I'll take the yeah. L. If it costs me my physical life to be with Him, I'll take that L. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. So, see, suffering is necessary. Now, we're at this point because we know we always talk about, well, why I got to go through this and, and why I got to go through that? And, and it's just too hard for me. And I, I just want to give up. No, no. Yeah. See, suffering is necessary. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about y'all, but the minute I realized that my lease was broken, my lease was broken. And I went through a suffering stage. Come I on. was given an opportunity, another chance is called Jesus. I was given another opportunity, it says the cross. I was given another opportunity that means death. I was given another opportunity that means he rose. I was given an opportunity when he snatched the keys back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, huh, here are your keys back to your lease. If you want it, you can have it. All you have to do is follow me. All you have to do is go with me. All you have to do is be with me, abide with me, and follow the commandments that I have set forth. He said, you don't have to do the old way. It's an easier way. Then say, I believe. I trust you. I know what you did for me. Hmm. Here are the keys. Because he snatched the keys from the devil. He snatched the keys out of hell and said, I hold the keys because I got all power. Come on. <laughs> so you get your lease back. And this is how you are released. <laughs> you are released because you signed the contract back with Jesus to say, God, I am leased to you. I am uh -huh. released in your provision. I want to be in the kingdom. I want to be a part of this release. And when you get your release, guess what? You got a place to store your stuff. Come all on. the stuff that you done went through, all the stuff, that, all the bad stuff you went through, you can say, Lord, I thank you because you have, re you have uh, gave me the lease back so I Come can on. be released back to you so I can be restored. Yeah, 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 we can be restored. And, and yeah, identify that Christ, Jesus Christ came, took the keys from them. Therefore, I am able to reconnect and stay leased to the Father. I'm released because my contract was renewed by the blood and water of Jesus Christ. Remember I told y'all when we first be born, there was a contract. We went through the contract, the blood and the water, but the minute we hit the surface of earth, it was broken. But God, Jesus Christ himself, gave us an opportunity to be released back to him. Why? Because he shed his blood for us. He gave the blood and water. That way we can be renewed, we can be restored, we can be reestablished. Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your blood, Jesus. I thank you for your water. And because of that, he gave me a new lease on life. Somebody on. said, I can release. I can release. I can release. And guess what? He cleansed my storage. Mm -hmm. And now he provided restoration. What's, in, what's the root word of restoration? Store. Uh huh. And then we just talked about being restored. So God restorate, restorate, restoration came out of this. Huh? Just for me. Just for me. Just for me. Yes, yes. Come yes. On. So, so now. Now that I've been restored, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can have Psalms 51 and 12 where he says, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Thank you, Lord, for rejoining my story, my joy. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 30 and 17 says, for I will restore health. How many of you need your health restored? Hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus, unto thee, and I will heal thee. Hallelujah. Of thy wounds, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That's just a part A of that verse. Hallelujah. And then Isaiah 61, 7 says, for your shame, you shall have double, double for your trouble. Hallelujah. So yeah, yeah, the, the lease was broken back then, but God said, I'm going to release you back to me and restore you. Not just one time, not just two times, but he said, I'm, I'm going to give you a double. I'm going to give you a double. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to give you double for your trouble. <laughs> yes, sir. Hallelujah. He's going to rejoice. He's going to rejoice. You can rejoice because he's going to give you your portion. Uh, I can't have a sister Nicolosha's no, no, portion because that's her portion. And she can't have my portion because that's mine. They got my name on it. My Come name. on. It got my address on it. It's a L A D I K. It's mine and it belongs to me. And God said, I'm going to restore it to you. How many times? Double from oh, me. My God. Double from my truck. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that after the suffering, yeah, I got to go through some things. Yeah, I got to realize. I know that I was born in sin. I know I was born in, in iniquity. But God, thank you for your, your release on life. That do all your all of your grace, not just some of your grace, but all of your grace. You will restore, you will confirm, you will strengthen me, and you will establish me. Yes, God. How many of you know that God is a, a promise keeper? He yes, is yeah. a deliverer, He's a strong tower, and all you have to do is make up in your mind that yes, God, the lease was broke. Mm. But now that I understand the lease was broken, I have an opportunity to be released to restore. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all uh, received this word from the Lord. We have to thank God because it really helped me. It helped me. Hallelujah. I thank God for the restoration. I thank God for allowing the restoring of him in me by being released to him. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you're, if you're out there, and you're running around with a broken lease. <laughs> if you're walking around with a broken lease, today is the day. Inbox Sister Kenosha or, or Lady K. In, inbox us. Come on. And let us know that you want to be released so you can risk to be restored. Released mm -hmm. to restore people. May God bless each and every one of you. It's my prayer. Amen. Amen. I told y'all she a sniper. She was y'all see how she just came on in and did what she did. Woman of God, woman of God. That was an awesome, awesome, awesome word. And I just want to reiterate what she said. If you need prayer, if you just need someone to talk to, if you need a sisterhood, you can reach out to Lady K or myself. If you're not friends with her on social media, go to her page. I would um, I think she's tagged on here. If not, um, Lady K, drop your information. Listen, I'm just asking y'all, y'all don't have to, but I just think this word right here, I think we need to sow a seed because she was awesome. And y'all see, she ain't hold us up long. She got straight to the meeting. She got straight to the point. Lady K, I want you to post your um, cash app or however you receive payments on um, uh, through uh, apps, through social media. Uh, y'all, she has in the background, she's a singer, she's an actress, she's a psalmist, she's a, she do it all, okay? She do it all, but one thing I do know, she is a true woman of God, and I hope you all got a word. Listen, you can download this uh, live, you can record this live. God has really, really, really used her, and this, that ain't nothing. Y'all, y'all, y'all didn't, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing what y'all got today. She is an awesome woman of God. And y'all know, of course, she will most definitely. Um, so you got people late for work. You got people late for work, but I just want to tell you that was an awesome word. I know it was for myself. I know it's for the people that's on this live, but I know it's going to be for people who need to hear this. Listen, listen if you don't want to share this live public, send this to somebody that's going through because this woman, she 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 played with y'all. Now I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. She did good. She was being nice, but she is definitely um awesome thank you for always accepting my invitation and in return you and your husband the chief apostle always know that i am always 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 available when y'all need me if nothing else woman of god i'm gonna let you have the last words and you can pray us out oh before before she do that y'all join me next thursday i'm gonna have minister Stills from up north, y'all. She, um, she and I used to be in the same sorority, but she's an awesome, another fireball, y'all. She's a realist. 
So y'all join me next Thursday at seven o'clock to continue to release to restore revival. And Lady K, I'm gonna let you have the last words and you can pray us out. And thank you again for accepting this invitation. To God be the glory. We thank everyone that came on the line. We thank everyone for the seeds that you're sown. And, and please don't let this be your last time. Please come back every Thursday um, between us. If you got to be early, 6.30, 7 o'clock, be there. Be watching the page because the times may or may not change. We don't know. But just be present so you can receive what God has for you. It's the reason why you were here tonight. That for you to know that it's going to be every Thursday for you to receive this word. Amen. One so more thing. Do you huh? have... Do you have anything going on? Do you and Chief Apostle have anything going on? Any announcements, any um, upcoming engagements that you probably want to share with people? Um, I would I would say watch the YouTube page. We do have Lady Katrina Ministries on YouTube. Can and you drop it we, in yeah, the I link? Okay. It. Can you drop it in the link? Um, I don't mean to keep cutting you off. I just want them, I want that connection. You know, it's about building the body of Christ. It's not about being selfish. Um, you all go and click the little bell on YouTube and follow her. Like I told y'all, she she's quiet, but she a be child. And I thank God for her. All right, y'all. I'm dropping the link now so y'all can have that. You know, you YouTube, it always have a little thing going on with it. I don't know why it's has a problem. <laughs> And y'all, I will tell y'all, I don't know if y'all know it or not, though, but I do have a stage play coming out in October, and she's most definitely going to be a part of it, so y'all will see her. I know mo for sure on the stage with me. You said you having problems dropping the link? Yeah, I can come, I can, if y'all come back, back. To, yeah, come back, I'll put it on there for you all, but uh, definitely, you can find everything that we're doing on that link, and also, um, I know the most important thing, we, we're going to be in Bessemer, me and my husband, Apostle Katie Owens. We're going to be tag teaming in Bessemer on July the 28th. So that fireball of my husband and myself will be there. And we're going to go for We're going to let God do what he does best and just use us as his instruments. Amen. Amen. And I'll, I'll let y'all know if y'all follow me on my page, just you know, tune in on that page because we will be posting that for you. Okay, it's yours now. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to go ahead and pray you out so that way you won't be late for work. You can get your children in the bed and all that good stuff. Okay, Father God, we thank you all tonight for the word, God, that we may be released to restore. And Father God, we ask you to, oh, while we're on our destinations or going to our destination, God, that you keep us covered, God. God, be with us and lead us and guide us in the way of truth, God. And we'll be careful to give you the glory and the praise. It is in the name of Jesus we do pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. And remember, go with God and he will and he will go with you. Y'all have a blessed night. Thank you, Lady Kay.